Some time ago, I made a large benchmark of all popular Linux distributions and I found Ubuntu 22.04 to be the fastest. Two weeks ago, Debian 12 was released. They had some time to iron things out, but before we get into benchmark, I want to say a little bit more about methodology. I'm testing all operating systems on VPS with two vCores from AMD Epic, second generation, and 2GB of RAM. Performance of each operating system will differ depending on model of processor and the rule of thumb is newer processor, uh, bigger improvements on newer kernels. I've chosen AMD Epic 2nd Gen because right now is the most popular choice across providers on low-end talk and low-end bugs. Keep in mind that Debian 12 will give you way more performance increase on Epic 3rd or 4th generation or some new Intel CPU. All benchmarks you're gonna see are done 3 to 20 times depending on deviation between the results. I've wanted to get a real performance of each distribution. Ok, let's go straight into benchmarks and see if Debian can beat Ubuntu. PHP Bench. This is a single-threaded benchmark that shows performance of PHP 8 on each operating system. Ubuntu 22 is still the fastest one, and sadly we don't see any improvement on Debian 12. What surprised me the most is how bad the new Fedora 38 performs here, because Fedora 37 that I tested in an earlier video was way better. This is a problem of such bleeding-edge distributions, because there are always some regressions, especially when it comes to older software, and you will see one of such mind-blowing regression later in this video. ZSTD compression time. Here we can see big improvement on the new Debian 12, and I'm very happy to see that, because Debian was among the worst performers in this test for a long time, and now with Debian 12 this problem is gone. Debian is the king here. Decompression speed is also improved on Debian 12. Let's test some databases. First, SQLite. Here we test the time required to make insertions on indexed database, so lower result equals better. Debian 12, just amazing. Once again, they improved so much and Debian was among the slowest for a long time. Debian 11, as you can see, is pretty bad and Debian 12 is the best. Another database benchmark, this time Postgres benchmark using pgbench tool. Same thing, so SQLite wasn't an exception. There is a huge improvement in performance of various databases on Debian 12. Debian 11 is slowest and once again Debian 12 is number one. Now let's see Nginx performance. Sadly, it's not that great, but even worse is Ubuntu result. It is hard to understand these differences, so I've redeployed my test VPSs, but the benchmark results are still the same. So it seems like right now Nginx is just greatly optimized for the older kernel that Debian 11 uses. It's not that surprising, and maybe we will see some improvements on Debian 12 in upcoming months. WebP image encoding benchmark. Debian 12 takes the lead, but differences between all distros are small. Between the best and worst result, it's less than 4% difference, so I wouldn't really focus on this result. In VP9 video encoding benchmark, differences are bigger, but still kinda small. Such apps are heavily optimized to utilize the best combination of CPU instructions and to use CPU cache most effectively, so operating system or kernel cannot really do much. Same thing with OpenSSL encryption. It is using select CPU instructions and the limiting factor is CPU itself, not the system. Now let's talk about big regression on Fedora. MP3 encoding. I know not many people will do it these days, and surely Fedora team doesn't test such software to test their distribution, but performance of Fedora is just mind-blowing. Five times worse. And that can be a great lesson for you. Shiny bleeding edge distributions often introduce such regressions. They exist to test new stuff and to be a feature battleground before it is pushed to distributions like Debian or Ubuntu LTS. To verify this result, I of course redeployed VPS once again, and as you can see, deviation between uh, results is less than 1%, so it is correct. 
So what we have learned today, the newer is not always better, but in terms of Debian it is. Debian 12 is currently the fastest distribution you can install on your VPS, especially big differences are noticeable when you combine I.O. with CPU, for example in databases or compression and decompression. Performance improvement between Debian 11 and 12 is so big that maybe Maybe you don't need to spend more money for a better server. Test new Debian 12 first. If you want to know how you can benchmark your VPS same way as I do, subscribe in order to get notified when a benchmarking tutorial video will be published here on Low and Bugs TV. That's all for today. Have a nice day.